the text of our constitution does not use the expression constitutional morality the constitution uses the expression morality why are we discussing a phrase which is not used in the constitution at all i was one of those who applied this concept of constitutional morality when i wrote the judgment in the first round of the battle between the nct of delhi and the union of india about 6 or 7 years ago essentially this conference speaks of contemporary judicial developments and strengthening justice through law and technology the word contemporary is very important because it does not speak about the work which we do in the abstract but in the context of contemporary societal challenges which we as judges face in the work which we do we therefore look at law and its intersection of technology from the perspective of the societal conditions in which those whom we serve exist in our societies because the true merit of our work lies in addressing the challenges faced by those at whose feet we are intended to serve namely the common citizens of india the first important theme that we are going to discuss is the principle of constitutional morality now if you look at the constitution the text of our constitution does not use the expression constitutional morality this phrase into invert commas constitutional morality is not found anywhere in the constitution the constitution uses the expression morality but it does not use the expression constitutional morality now all of you may be asking a basic question which is why are we discussing a phrase which is not used in the constitution at all what is the relevance to district judges high court judges to the officers of the state to civil society of a phrase which is not used in the constitution the constitution uses the expression morality but morality in the constitution is used as a restraint on fundamental rights the constitution allows for restrictions to be imposed by law on the right to freedom of speech and expression under article 191 a by article 192 on various grounds including morality likewise the constitution contemplates that restrictions can be imposed on the right to freedom of association inter alia on grounds of morality so morality in article 192 and article 194 is a restraint on the rights of the citizens is that the morality that we speak of when we talk about constitutional morality now that's one of the basic questions which we have to address if constitutional morality has not been addressed in the constitution as a textual expression what is the value addition to the constitutional discourse that we in a regional conference a high powered conference of senior judges from across the region are discussing this concept that's the first question which i must very briefly try and make you all perhaps reflect on how do you define what is undefined and what is not explicitly stated in the constitution who will define the concept of constitutional morality we exist in a federal structure we exist in a federal structure which is marked by a great deal of diversity i was born in mumbai belong to a small village about 60 70 kilometers away from pune my work took me to elabad as chief justice for 3 years and now i look at the broader context of the indian nation and one thing which cannot but leave a very imperceptible mark on your heart and soul in the work which we do as judges in delhi is to realize the importance of preserving the diversity of india so how do we then dwell on the concept of constitutional morality 
at one level constitutional morality is founded in the preambular values the values which the constitutional preamble sets out but if these rights have already been enunciated elsewhere in the constitution then why constitutional morality in fact i was one of those who applied this concept of constitutional morality when i wrote the judgment in the first round of the battle between the nct of delhi and the union of india about 6 or 7 years ago and responding to that judgment the learned attorney general for india mr venugopal asked me in another case he says judge where do you find this doctrine in the constitution it was an academic discourse as constitutional cases involve at a certain level the preamble defines concepts and refer refers to concepts such as justice social economic and political liberty of thought expression faith belief and worship human dignity equality fraternity now these rights which the pre preamble refers to are found in the text of the constitution article 21 the right to life and personal liberty equality in article 14 then why are we evolving this concept of constitutional morality there is a more deeper reason and that deeper reason for us to dwell on the concept of constitutional morality is that constitutional morality is an overarching principle which is derived from but is not confined to specific rights or values which are enshrined in the constitution constitutional morality gives you a unifying constitutional ethic it gives you a unifying constitutional ethic so every indian citizen can think as she wishes to think every indian citizen can speak as she wishes to speak every indian citizen can worship as they intend to worship every indian citizen is entitled to follow whoever they want to follow every indian citizen is entitled to eat what she or he wants to eat every indian citizen is entitled to marry whoever she or he wants to marry or not marry at all in other words what constitutional morality really opens up as a universe for all of us particularly as judges is to create a whole way of life which the constitution has created and that way of life is deeply cognizant of the fact that india does not exist only in large cities but it goes down to the smallest village and the smallest taluka across the nation connected or not connected communicable or not communicable accessible or otherwise and that is the true merit of the doctrine of constitutional morality constitutional morality unlike morality as i began by telling you morality is a restraint on the rights of citizens constitutional morality on the other hand addresses itself to the state constitutional morality is a restraining factor on the state but besides being a restraining facet of what the state has to respect it imposes a duty on the state to facilitate the achievement of the kind of society which the constitution envisages constitutional morality addresses itself to every component of society and to society as well the constitution is not merely a dialogue between the state and its citizens or between the union and the states or between the states and states it's a dialogue within and between societies and constitutional morality addresses itself to every component of society and the society itself telling society that you must allow for conditions which 
respect diversity, promote inclusion, and pursue tolerance. The heart of the nation is our realization of the importance of diversity, the need for inclusion, and the ultimate pursuit of tolerance, which defines why we are 75 years after the birth of the nation, still a nation with such beautiful diversity and colors. But above all, since we are judges, constitutional morality reflects an institutional commitment of the court system. The institutional commitment of each one of us that we are but subservient to these values of the Constitution. Too very often, when we are addressed as honor, and we are addressed as lordships or ladyships, there is a very, very grave danger, and people say that, well, the court is a temple of justice. There is a grave danger that we perceive ourselves as the deities in those temples. Therefore, speaking for myself, though I am, I have my own set of personal values which are deeply personal to me, I am a little reticent when I am told that this is a temple of justice. Because temple postulates that the judges are in the position of a deity. I would rather recast the role of the judge as a server of the people. And when you regard yourselves as people who are there to serve others, then you bring in the notion of compassion, of empathy, of judging others but not being judgmental about others, allowing other people to lead the lives as they lead. All of us know as judges that in the worst of criminal cases which come before us, we have a human being who is before us. And even when we exercise the power of sentencing, we do that with a sense of compassion, just as we do it with a sense of duty to the family of the victim who has been wronged. So it is these concepts of constitutional morality which I think are the key, not just for the judges of the Supreme Court or the High Court, but for the district judiciary itself, because the engagement of common citizens begins first and foremost with the district judiciary. The Supreme Court is the court of last resort, notwithstanding Article 32. The court of first resort are the district courts across the nation.